Hey guys, welcome back. And since I have the day off today, we're going to run around to some pawn shops and see if there are any good watches or deals. So that's coming up right after this. The first piece I came across was a 1967 Datejust with a linen dial for about $1800. And it was my favorite of the lot. Linen dials are something I've always loved the look of. Overall it was in okay shape, but you could really tell on the lower left top of the lug where it's been refinished a lot over the years, and the lug hole is really close to the top of the lug. This is a 1980s Datejust, and I did like the blue dial. It's been refinished less than the previous Datejust, but overall it just felt a little bit, eh, just okay. Another vintage Datejust with a much more neutral dial, which is something I like because I feel like it gives you a lot more options in the way of aftermarket bands, and I would definitely put any vintage piece on a nice leather band. Here was my favorite find of the whole trip. A pair of very cool pocket watches. The first one on the left is an Elgin pocket watch from 1919, and it's in full working order. This is a 3A4 movement with 17 joules, and I loved checking out that balance wheel. The second is an E. Howard pocket watch in a keystone made case, which means it was made after the rights to the E. Howard name were purchased by Keystone in 1902. The original E. Howard company was founded in the late 1850s. We all know that pocket watches preceded the wristwatches that we're all so obsessed with, but Elgin in particular was the juggernaut of its time, making nearly 50% of all the pocket watches in the United States. They were also incredibly innovative, designing a free sprung balance back in 1958, and they also made the only American made automatic wristwatch movements at the time, and they made the first wristwatch to be qualified for railroad service. An incredible time in American history. If you can't tell by now, I was excited to find it, so I brought it home with me, and I plan to use it as a desk clock. I went to about 9 pawn shops, and most of them didn't have any watches at all, but I still managed to have one hell of a day. If any of you have ever made any cool finds at a pawn shop or anywhere you didn't expect it, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below, and I'd love to hear what you think about my new pocket watch. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. That's it for this one. Thanks for coming along. CG out.